Let's talk today about some of the things that I no longer buy since focusing on simplifying and minimizing my home. Let's start in the kitchen. Candles. I wait for the Bath & Body Works sale for the fall and I stock up, which means I don't have to buy candles throughout the year. So I have a lot from last fall. I'm not buying any more candles. I went through and decluttered underneath my kitchen sink recently and realized that I had about 20 <laughs> Mrs. Meyer surface sprays. I committed to not buying a single <laughs> new surface spray until all of these are gone. In fact, I even learned how to make my own with a simple solution of distilled water, essential oil, and a few drops of dish soap. I'm also not buying store-bought traditional dishwasher tabs. This is another thing that I learned how to make recently. It is so much cheaper than buying, I have one left, <laughs> one left from another package. These are so expensive. So I'm really happy with that and I've saved so much money. I don't think I'll go back. Something else I don't buy anymore is plastic Tupperware. I recently did a kitchen declutter and I got rid of the last of my plastic. I love these glass jars. They reheat in the microwave, which is amazing, and they don't stain. I'm not buying plastic Tupperware. I don't even own any. Something else that I'm not buying is tea. I have this whole thing full of tea. I really try my best to respect the boundaries of my home. So I'm gonna respect the boundary of this container. It's full, not buying anymore. And I really like taking the tea out of the bulky packaging and I just keep them in little baggies with a tiny square of the packaging ripped off so I know what it is. It's just so much more efficient for storage when you don't have the packaging. I have like six different teas in here. I recently discovered the magic of Swedish dishcloths. These are so nice. They take the place of paper towels and they're reusable, so more sustainable. I love them. You can buy these on Amazon in packs of like 12. I think that's what I got. I will link my set down below, but these are so nice and no more paper towels. I used to buy a ton of different scented lotions. I just buy one. I love the Jergens Ultra Healing. When this is gone, I'll buy another exactly like this. I love this one. It's just really, really light in the scent and it works great. I used to regularly, a few times a year, purchase a high-end eyeshadow palette. I do not do this anymore. I just have these little ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. They are so affordable. They're at Target now. So, so good, like really good. I have not bought a high-end eyeshadow palette in a few years and I just don't see myself buying it again. Almost any time I went to the drugstore before I decided to simplify my life, I would buy myself another lipstick. I only have a few now and I've committed to not buying any more until I use these up. I think I own about six. I try and save all of the gift bags that we get for birthdays and holidays, which is so nice because I don't have to buy any throughout the year. I don't really use wrapping paper anymore. I just reuse gift bags. I am not going to buy any more throw blankets. I used to like lipstick. I used to buy throw blankets all the time. I love being cozy. I think they're so cute, but I have plenty. I have just enough for my house and I'm gonna let these wear out before I buy any more. In fact, I have a hole in one of them downstairs. I'm keeping it. I don't buy dryer sheets anymore. I just buy these wool dryer balls. You can put a few drops of essential oil on these, which lightly scents your clothing. But this is so nice because these are reusable. I get these on Amazon. Sometimes they're hard to find in the store, but they're fairly inexpensive and they really do help with static and drying time. So I love these. I used to buy special foot scrubs and foot creams. I just use my regular lotion for that now. I just have this one aside from my face cream. I don't put this on my face, but I don't buy special foot creams. In addition, I don't buy lip scrubs anymore. I used to buy them. I thought they were so fancy, so bougie. I just don't need them because you can just use the corner of a damp towel to lightly exfoliate. It is so much better than having to go out and buy lip scrubs. So I don't buy those anymore and I don't buy self tanners. I just 
go with my natural pale face. I used to pay for pedicures occasionally. I really don't do that anymore. I find that the gel chip my nails and then if I just go ahead with the regular nail polish, I might as well do it at home. So I just get the OPI polishes from TJ Maxx for half the price and I use this. You guys notice I don't even wear nail polish really at all. It's rare. And then I don't get lash fillers. Although my lashes are sparse, I really Really could use them in a way but they're so expensive I just get these little Ardell 318 corner lashes so I don't get you know lash fillers any kind of filler I really don't pay for these types of services so that's something else that can really help you save money I don't buy bathroom rugs anymore I learned my lesson when I realized that they just get kind of mildewy from the shower. I do have one in the living room and entry, but other than that, I do not buy rugs. Every season, I used to buy myself a new beanie, new gloves, new scarves. I just bought a really nice one, a really nice wool set of gloves and hat, and I don't wear scarves anymore at all. So these are things that I don't constantly repurchase. I'll just have a really, really nice, good quality set, and I'll just stick with that. I used to buy really chunky jewelry, especially necklaces. The earrings I'm wearing today are about as bold as I'll get these days, but I don't buy those chunkier pieces really anymore. I just stick to more dainty and delicate pieces. These all come from Old Navy, mostly and Target. Like I used to collect lipsticks, I also used to collect planner stickers. I have not bought a new planner sticker pack in a very long time. I'm not gonna buy any Anymore. I'm just gonna use up what I have. I still enjoy it. It's fun, but not worth the money. Do you still buy tights and nylons? I just, I have one. I think this is the only one I have. This is my pair of black nylons. I just don't buy these. I used to buy these all the time. I just go bare legged. <laughs> Even if it's chilly, I'll just put on a nice coat and stay toasty. So this is the last pair that I have from who knows when. I don't buy setting sprays anymore. I just feel like they didn't really do what they say they would. So instead of going out and buying a bunch of setting sprays that didn't really work, I just focus on glowy skin. So I just get rose hip seed oil um, from TJ Maxx and I'll mix it in with my foundation. And that's how I kind of like hydrate my skin instead of using the setting spray that just didn't really work for me. I don't buy shaving cream anymore. I used to, but I felt like a bar of soap just did the same trick. So I save money because my bars of soap are really cheap by comparison. Let me know if you're still buying shaving cream or if you're like me and you just use your soap. I do not buy DVDs or CDs anymore. We just stream everything these days. I talked about my CDs in a recent video. I would love to declutter these, but my husband really wants to hold on to them, which I of course completely respect. So we haven't gotten rid of these yet, but we just don't buy any more. Let me know if you still have your CDs, your DVDs, or if you've decluttered them. Now, aside from candles and lipsticks and a couple surface sprays, I generally don't buy multiple multiples of the same product or variations of the same product. I only have one wallet. I only have one pair of nail clippers. I only have one umbrella. So I try and only keep one that you know, serves one function. When it comes to consumables like lipstick, like surface spray, it can be nice to have a couple. That's your preference. You don't have to have any of this stuff, but when it comes to different variations, different styles, different colors of umbrellas, I just, I don't do that. I used to only buy cheap organization systems because I didn't wanna spend the money. Problem is they generally didn't work out. So I don't buy cheap organizers unless I know they're what I'm looking for. I try to invest, and this is a recent project I did, I try to invest in organization that will actually work and suit my needs so I don't have to keep reorganizing, re-spending money. So I don't buy cheap organization anymore. I just buy what I know is gonna work. I basically do not buy information that I could get for free online. Example, magazines. I don't pay for them because I could get the same information on Pinterest for free. I don't pay for apps. 
I really try not to buy anything uncomfortable. This really is like clothes and shoes, but if it's impractical, if it's a one use item um, or something that I try on and I'm like, it's almost perfect, but it's just not quite there. I try and pass on it. I made a mistake recently and didn't try on in the dressing room and I did end up having to declutter because I lost the receipts, lost the tags. I try not to buy things that are impractical or uncomfortable. I used to buy just in case items. I I think I might be able to use this in the future. I see how this could be useful or helpful, especially if I would see a sale item. I would think I'm going to, I'm going to thank myself later <laughs> when I want this and I have it. I absolutely absolutely have given up that habit. I noticed that generally I didn't end up needing or wanting or using the item and it just became clutter in my home. Similarly, I would go out and buy gifts or see cute things that I thought, ooh, that would be a cute gift for somebody in the future. The item would get lost. I would totally forget about it. I wouldn't give it to anybody. It would just get shoved to the back of my closet. So I don't buy gifts. I don't buy things for the the future. I try and be really intentional and only buy things that I have a purpose and use for now with the exception of kids clothing. If I see a good sale or I'm at kid to kid the thrift store, I will buy grow into clothes, but that's the only exception I take. I really try and steer clear of buying large toys. I just find they take up a lot of room. They're so bulky. They're hard to store. So I try not to buy larger items anymore. Oh, I forgot to mention, I don't buy face masks anymore. I used to, I used to be pretty religious about buying face masks. I just, again, didn't feel like they did enough or anything, <laughs> so I couldn't justify spending the money. I have a playlist on the screen of a few other videos you can check out. I will meet you over there.